Hello and welcome. My name is Deborah Guthrie, and joining me today for this Wisdom Wednesday segment is Finance Director Miriam Madison. We are talking about the new online billing system, and there's a couple of things that we want to walk utility, residential utility customers through in regards to the online billing system. So bills just went out. <laughs> You're going to receive one in the mail. Yep. And we will walk you through what that looks like when you open up your bill. But first we wanna talk about customers who are on the automatic bill payment system who may have received an email uh, stating this is how much you owe for your utilities and this is what you need to, need to do to pay it because there's going to be, we want to get, the township wants to get people on the new system. Correct. Okay. So we're going to use my account <laughs> as an example since I just received an email um, showing how much I owe <laughs> and how to pay it. Um, and Miriam is going to walk us through this whole thing. So I'm going to kind of give Miriam... Uh, control of this so she can walk us through what this is going to look like on the old system and right. how to get on the new system. Yep. Okay. Great. Okay. Take it away. <laughs> okay. So Deborah received this email yesterday and probably is quite a few of our other customers did too with with our old logo on it so you'll know that it's the old <laughs> old system where it says click here to view your bill. And when you click here, it takes us to their, our old portal. And if so, if you're getting this, this is our old system. And what we want you to do is disconnect this old reoccurring payment. If you've got information in there about your credit card or even uh, your bank account to where it automatically pays, we want you to unenroll on this system and enroll on our new system. And so how do we, do we have to log in to unenroll? Correct. Okay. So if you um, already know your login and password, just go in and then you can unenroll at that point. Or if you don't know your login or your password, feel free to call our utility billing department and they will walk you through or they'll be able to go in and unenroll you also. Okay. So we don't want you enrolled on our old system and our current system because we don't want you to get double charged. Okay. And what... If that happens, uh, what is the reassurance for customers if, the, if they were accidentally double charged, which is probably rare that it would happen. Right. We're going to try and do everything that we can, but we can't guarantee that that's going to not happen. So what we'll be able to do on our new system that we weren't on the old system is be able to refund right away through your credit card or through your bank account. On our old system, we weren't able to do that. We would have to cut you a check and you'd have to wait you know, five to 10 business days to get that back. So on the new system, we'll be able to go right in and refund that to you. Okay, so if I receive this email, and I'm gonna pull this email back up again. Yep. Right there. I receive this email, and then uh, then the next day it's gonna show that it was paid. Mm -hmm. um, if I view through here and click through here, I'm gonna log in and then I'm going to unenroll. Yes. Okay. Now, how do I enroll on the new, the new system. billing system? So if you receive um, your bill at home, because people who are automatically enrolled still receive a bill at their house, a paper bill. Correct. Okay. So they will open it up mm -hmm. and inside they will see um, their bill, obviously. But then there is an insert in there. This is an example. Uh, talking about the new billing system, uh, how to sign up for the new billing system. And then there is also, is there a card in here? Now, those are handout cards that we have available at the front desk. Okay. So it's just a copy. It's just a smaller version of what their insert is. Okay. All right. So they'll see this new billing system <clears throat> and follow uh, the guidelines on here for how to sign up. So we're going to do that with my account? Yes. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> Miriam's actually going to do it. She's the expert and show you how to do it. Woo. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm getting off easy here by, <laughs> by doing this. All right, so okay. what do we do? So we're going to get out of this. Yeah, we're going to close out of this and we're going to go to our main Meridian Township web page. Okay, here and, we are. And on that main oh, page, yep, go to the main page. Okay. And on the main page, just like our old system, there's a bill payment 
icon and you're gonna wanna click on that. Okay. And it takes you to just another picture of what's exactly in your insert that you would have received, showing you easy steps one, two, three on how to get enrolled online. Okay. So you can either you can click on either icon where it says bill payment and it will take you to our brand new site. Okay, okay. so this is what it looks like for yeah. bill payments. All right. Okay. We want to um, make sure that you are in our util utility billing payment. So we're going to click there. Click utility bill payment. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can search for your by if you know the account number, which would be on your invoice that you would have just received, you can search by your name or you can search by your address or even if you have your parcel number. So there, these are all different search functions that you can search by. So my account <laughs> number has like a partial name of my street. Yeah. Is this the entire, do, do I just put the numbers in or do I include that as well? You would include any, yeah, you would include any dashes okay. or, or anything, just exactly the way it prints on your bill or from your email that you received. Or if you don't know that or you don't want to type that, you can put your, your, name, your name or even your address. You can put 2575 and you don't even have to put put that in, you can just search and it'll bring up a list. So you can just hit search and it brings up and you wanna verify that's really you. <laughs> <laughs> that's really me. <laughs> so then you can just click on that. All right. And with this system, it will bring up what your bill is. So you can look a details of what your billing charge is, your sewer, your water. It looks like you've got two systems, you've got a regular water service and you have an irrigation service. So you can look at the, the values on both of those. Wow, I never knew that before. I can see how much irrigation, how much I'm using for mm -hmm. my spring irrigate. Wow, okay, interesting. So if you want, if everything looks right, if it matches your bill, you can just click on the make payment. Okay. So this and now you know you're on the right yes. bill payment because it has the new township logo. It looks like this, not the old one. Right. From the old system. So now you know this is our new system that we're running through Invoice Cloud. This is our, our company that we're partnering with. It's got and our you new can logo. See Invoice Cloud up there. Yep. But the it's got our logo so you yep. know you're on the right page. Okay. There's a lot of different functions. You can hit view invoice and Here, I'll, I'll let you take over and, and, you and can, show the functions. You can view your invoice and what this does is it brings up a PDF version of what was sent to you in the mail. Wow. So you can look at that. Okay. And just to verify it there. And that way we're encouraging people to go paperless because you don't have to receive it in the mail. You can go logging onto our system oh. and view your invoice right from there. So now, rather than getting the message via email and get, getting something at home, I'm just going to get something digitally Correct. if I choose to do that. Yes. Okay. And you don't have to choose. You can still receive that in the mail mm -hmm. and um, pay pay any way that you mm -hmm. want. You can still write a check or, you know, you can because, go on here. And, and you can still come into the township yep. and pay at the treasurer's um, office. Yep. And then we have a white drop box out right. in front of the township hall. You can always throw that in there and we'll get that in the, ne the next morning or periodically throughout the day. We'll go and check on it. So <clears> how <throat> do I sign up for an account? Or am I already signed you're up not because signed, I'm a customer? Yep. You're not signed up yet. Basically, you're just looking at what's here. How you can just proceed to check out if you want and then you can just pay it. It's like a one-time payment. Mm -hmm. But we are encouraging people to register their account. Down here in orange, it says, I want to register this account. Okay. So we're going to click on this for you because we're going to register you. All right. Okay. So it's going to fill in some stuff and you're going to have to help me here because okay. it's going to okay. ask for some personal information. All right. So we're asking for email addresses so we can send out notifications to you or if you choose to go pay paperless, um, we'll send that via email to you. This is just to verify that you're really a, not a computer. All right. 
now automatically defaults to saying, I want, I would like to sign up for paperless. If you still want to sign up and still receive an a paper bill, you'd have to turn that off. Mm -hmm. We're highly just unclick yeah, here. Yeah, unclicking it. But if you want paperless, you click there. Right. Okay. And so basically it's saying, I understand at this time that there, you're not going to receive a bill. And you have the ability to print it offline if you want to at any time. Correct. Okay. Got it. And so everything's there and you're going to say complete registration. There we go. I'm in. I'm registered. It's finally in. <laughs> So now what can I see once I'm registered? There's a lot of different things in here. You can view your payment history. So what you'll be able to see is anything that you've paid online through the system. Um, obviously, you're not going to see anything right now because you haven't paid anything yet. Um, you're, you can view your schedule mm -hmm. um, if, you wanna, if you've had something scheduled and you want to view that. Can um, you change the date of your scheduled payment or are there set dates by the township where the, utility payments yeah, are due. Yeah, there's kind of set dates okay. um, for uh, reoccurring ones, or you can go in and have it set. Like, you want if you want to manage your auto pay settings, there's things through here. Let's go click in here. Okay, so it would have you add a new auto pay method. Okay, okay. so we're going to, because... Please add a new, okay, so I would okay, go in there and here. do my checking count, a credit card if I wanted. So you're going to be able to add a credit card or if you want to pay by bank account. Mm -hmm. So you're going to choose one of these that you want to pay by. Okay. Um, so we're going to, let's, do you want to do credit card? Uh, well, I would do bank account. Okay, let's do bank account. And so in here, you're going to have to fill in your bank, your routing number, which is if you're looking at your checking account, it's on the bottom piece of that. Um, and also your bank. So all of this, the bank routing and bank number are all on the bottom of your checking account. They're, you're going to ask to, to confirm it. And then also what type of an account you've got to drop down. It's a checking mm -hmm. or it's a savings okay. or it's commercial. Okay. Okay. All right, so then if we go back, the other option is to put in the credit card information. Right, so same thing. You're going to click on credit card, mm -hmm. and you're going to pick, is it Visa, MasterCard, or Discover? Those mm -hmm. are our only options that you can pay with. Um, you're going to put in your, your number, your expiration date, your billing address, um, and then you can set that as a default so mm -hmm. that it's always using that card. Okay. All okay. right. So it works just like paying any other bills that we're paying online. Correct. Okay. Okay. So those are the payment methods. I'm going to go back to... You can update account information. Mm -hmm. You can change your email address. Um, you can add your phone number, mm -hmm. a different email. So we can go in and... Um Let's go back to back to the main page where okay <clears throat> I like where it says when it's due. It's due in nineteen days. Mm -hmm. It has the invoice date, and then it lets you know when the due date is and how much it is. Mm -hmm. um, and then you can, then there's an option there to schedule payments. So you can schedule a payment. So if you receive something in an email and you don't have any recurring payments set up, you can go in and you can schedule it for a particular day. Correct. Um, to be paid. Um, and then, so the past history for water bills, for utility bills that we've paid will not be on the new system, so I won't be able to see that, but I can contact the township for that if I wanted. You can actually go onto our main web page and you can see your history through uh, the Meridian Township's web page. Okay. What you're seeing through Invoice Cloud is only payments that you have paid through this system, but you okay. can always go onto our main web page and look at your account through there and see your past history. Can customers, do, do utility customers who are receiving this in the mail, do they have to wait until they receive this to sign up? Or can they, if they see this video and they see how to sign up, can they go sign up? They can look up their account on the township website, 
pay a bill, sign up, or do they have to wait? They have the. They kind of have to wait until they receive the first um, invoice from us. Okay. Um, you can make a one-time payment if mm -hmm. you've got a past due bill. You can go out and use the system to make a one-time payment. But to go in and register for text messages or email notifications or things like that that are reoccurring or to make an auto payment, you need to kind of wait to get the invoice. We're loading them as the cycles happen. So okay. a large majority of our customers should be receiving this. Um, all of our customers will receive it within the next three months. Okay. Or our, our regular residential customers. Our retail or commercial customers receive them every month. Mm -hmm. So they can go in now and So register. residential receive quarterly bills. Correct. Once you receive your quarterly bill, go online, yep. register, set up your account, mm -hmm. wait until you receive the bill to do it. Yes. Okay. Yes. And then if somebody has questions, who do they contact? Who do they email? If they're, if they're struggling and need assistance, can they come in here and, and someone walk them through it? Yes, we're going to have a computer set up at our treasurer's office and they can come in and we're going to walk you through um, how to set it up, mm -hmm. um, change things, you know, make do notifications. If you're struggling, you want to do it that way, feel free to come into the office and we'll help you. Um, you can call our utility billing department and they can walk you through it also online. Um, you can, there is on our webpage, you can email us and mm -hmm. send us an email to, mm -hmm. to our utility billing department also. Okay. Anything else we should know about this? I think we're just highly encouraging people to go on and use this new system. Um, you'll be able to see so much information. You, you've got a lot of options that we mm -hmm. didn't have before where you can pay by text. So when you register, you'll get a text message and says your bill is $295. Mm -hmm. Do you want to pay? And you can text, I believe the word is pay. You can text okay. the word payback and it will actually pay your bill for you. You will get a notification from us when it actually processes and it says the payment has been processed. You can always go back in and check your account to see if it shows zero and make mm -hmm. sure that it actually gets paid and updated. Or you can call us and verify it. Okay. So there's a lot of a great lot more advantages. options yes. than before. Mm -hmm. All right. And going paperless and trying, I know the township's trying to go more green. Mm -hmm. They're greener every day. And this is one of the steps towards going greener. Right, so we're trying to reduce, pay, you know, sending out invoices to people that are on automatic payment and they don't want to receive them and they want, the township wants to go green. Mm -hmm. So we're not in, including return envelopes either. So again, another step that we're trying to be more green and more conscious of that green. Piece I've of it. never even <laughs> opened a utility bill because I set up automatic payments a long time ago. I've been a resident of Meridian Township forever. Right. And when I receive the utility bill in the mail, I just throw it away, don't even open it. But when you receive your next <laughs> utility bill, open it up because it has the instructions for signing up for the new utility billing system. It yep. has so many more options. Yes. So don't do what I do. And Miriam just walked me through setting up my account, so I'm all good. So anything else that we should mention? I think that's it. Okay. All right. So if you have any questions, the email address for utility billing is? It's right there um, on, on our page. Uh, you can contact me. I'm the finance director. There's my staff is Danielle Hughes and Deanne with their phone numbers, which is directly to the utility billing, which is 853-4120. And they will be able to walk you through on how to set it up. If you have any questions or any concerns, uh, you can email us or call us. Thank you, Miriam, so much. Thank you. Thank you for watching this episode of Wisdom Wednesday.